I am doing my first ever collaboration with the incredibly talented Brianna Marie. So take a look at this clip. Make sure you guys check her out. Subscribe to her channel. She has amazing content. Let us support each other in our greatness. This is my braiding pattern and the arrow is just pointing to where the knotless part is going to be. Keep it simple. Don't do anything too extravagant. The fewer braids, the better. And you guys know I'm on a journey to stronger, healthier hair, so I'm still using the alopecia serum and I will update you guys on any type of results I have in the future. Now, what's the best Marley hair? This hair by Janet Collection is so awesome. I purchased mine at the local beauty supply store. Should have bought it online, but I used a total of three packs and with this hair you have to be careful it gets big fast use the brick layering method to avoid overcrowding i'm using the very standard knot loop method i'm doing the knotting process about twice with this hair if you do too many knots it could get a little bulky and again with a texture this big you just want to be careful this hair is like 61 inches in length so girl you see how I'm, I should have cut this hair because when I was detangling, it was a task. Use a leave-in conditioner to help make this process easier. And you want to do this in sections because if you wait until the very end, you will be overwhelmed. That is my biggest advice to you all. This is rated D for difficult girl. Now, this is where I put the color 27. I wanted something that was really going to give me a nice ombre effect, but also highlights. I see so many tutorials with the dark colors. We need to spruce it up, do something different. So I really like this color combination. I kept it around the crown and the very sides of my head. Now this is where I'm doing the knotless part. You guys should know by now how I do the knotless method. I like to do two knots to help secure the hair in place so there's no slippage whatsoever. But this texture is really good. There's enough friction. It does not un unravel in any way. I would definitely recommend it. This is where I have to tell you guys, this product right here, this whole product line is perfect for this particular hair texture. Lustre Silk gives life and it just helps make the detangling process that much easier. Look at how the paddle brush is gliding through the hair at this point. Of course, I've had a few rounds of detangling, but this is magic right here. Really like how I did the back of my hair. I think that really could have used the most amount of work, but Try to get as close to the knots of your crochet as you can. And you guys may see that I'm using the hair and just wrapping it around my finger before I take the strand of hair around the entire flexi rod. You don't want to create a spiral curl with this hair. As thick as it is, it needs to have you, you know, that extra, you know, twirl around the finger or the wrist so that it's not laying flat against the flexi rod, if that makes sense get to see this for a second time you know let's lock this in take your time make the hair wrap around very tight you do not want it to be loose trust me this works best in the end and look at how this hair is shining look how dry it was in the beginning oh my goodness Are you still afraid of dipping your hair? Okay, so listen, I got a Starbucks cup because it has height. You need a glass or a cup with a lot of height for this particular style because of the flexi rods and their length. And I definitely recommend this. I felt very comfortable. I had a cup warmer along with it and a towel wrapped around my shoulder to catch any hot water that may have dripped. Each his own, just be careful when you do this. I used about 23 to 25 flexi rods. I didn't like sleeping, you know, that much. It was terrible. And I was happy to unravel this hair and just look at the unwinding motion that I'm doing. If you guys really want a tip, put a towel, like, you know, a body towel on your pillow when you go to sleep. That really helped me to like dry this hair overnight. 
There were only like two sections that were damp and, and that's on everything. Now I'm using avocado oil. This one is perfect because it's lightweight and it works well on this synthetic hair type. It's not heavy, it's helping me to elongate the curls. As you can see, the right side of my head, the curls are a lot tighter. You know, I'm better once I get on the right side of my head. The left side was a little bit more of a challenge. But I'm going in to separate the curls, but I'm gonna keep the ends of the hair intact. Be careful when you are separating the hair. You know, the ends, you can unloosen them if that's the look you're going for. But I know that this blonde, it was kind of scaring me, so I went in with my Jerome Russell temporary hairspray. It does transfer, some people are afraid of that, but it only comes out fully with shampoo. But my advice is use a glove and get all the way in the crown if you want your roots to look natural all throughout. And I flipped this portion of my hair over because I like the way this looked way better. And I don't know, I just felt it looked more glam like this. Guys, I love this style. Hopefully you are inspired to try this even though it's a little bit challenging. Don't just stop yourself. The possibilities are endless. So stay tuned. There's more content on my channel. Make sure you watch more Taste Pink videos, girl. Subscribe and I will see you in the next one.